just came back to PE and it is when I am here that I can fully start my year. It's here where I can settle and focus on the things I want to achieve. I haven't begun with my practicals and there's a few people back and so I just wanted to lean into this quiet time. So loves, I haven't made my vision board for 2023, right? And I just came back from um, printing out the pictures for my vision board. I'm gonna use this time, this quiet time, this time alone to just sit and be by myself and make my vision board and dream and print out my year. So, yeah. <laughs> excited me because I believed it to be where I was going to hit the ground running and begin chasing my goals, setting my goals even and just being by myself. I'm here right now and being by myself kind of feels lonely. I've been doing things to be by myself, enjoy being by myself and I've been enjoying being by myself but there's a part of all that that kind of feels like loneliness. I feel stuck in my head. I'm stuck in here. I feel alone, I feel lonely. I feel overwhelmed. I feel anxious. I feel worried. And the worst part of it all is that I don't know where all of this, of all of those feelings and emotions stem from. Nonetheless, I'm allowing myself to feel all of it. I'm allowing myself to go through all of it. I am not holding anything in, in me. I am letting all flow through me. So that at the end of the day, I can feel much lighter and not guilty of having held all that emotion and feeling inside of me. I honestly feel like there's something missing in me right now. There's this feeling I long to feel. There's this connection I long to feel and I believe that this connection to myself I feel so detached to who I am I long to go back to the say to who the version of me I long to reconnect to I feel a type a, a certain kind of uncertainty attached to a lot of things from now I don't know I'm feeling a lot you guys and I know it's okay to feel the way I feel. I am not in any way crucifying myself for feeling all those feelings, for feeling all those emotions. But rather, I am making space for them to flow through me. I am making space for them to... to take up space in me and manifest in whatever way they want to manifest and then flow out of me leave space for something better, for a better feeling, for better emotions to come and flow through me. That is me currently. That is me. I feel like a lot of my happiness is attached to certain people in my life. And now that I have to be here by myself without those people or even certain things that my happiness may be attached to, I find myself struggling to actually be happy by myself. And that's one of the things I want to change um, in 2023. And that is to become happy, comfortable, to enjoy being by myself, enjoy my own company. I want to be honest with myself. I once heard something that said, there's only so much lying you can do to yourself before you can be honest with yourself. So I think it's time for me to actually be honest with myself 
with everything. Be honest. Be brutally honest with myself because I feel like that's the only way I can move forward with a lot of things in my life. Um, before I came here, I was feeling a bit down. As you may have seen from the clips, where I was just you know, talking to you guys, sharing my honest emotions and feelings. But as I sit here right now and just generally reading my ways, reading my devotions and all that, having this amazing coffee, little by little, I'm feeling a bit happy. I'm feeling some joy creeping, and I find myself smiling. And yeah, man. This is it for me. Spending time for myself is one of the things that make me happy. It might feel awkward at times, it might um, feel a bit lonely sometimes, but ultimately spending time by myself is really what gets me back to myself because I'm feeling a bit better right now. Like I'm feeling I'm feeling amazing like they say. I'm really good. Cheers.